Hey guys, it's Kara. I bought more dahlias. That's what's in this box here. We're gonna plant those out and a few other flowers here today in the garden. The dahlias we planted the other day together are starting to sprout and pop up now. The ones that I had pre-sprouted are definitely taking off and doing a lot better than the ones where I just stuck the tubers in the ground. This is one of the ones that I had pre-sprouted. It's already getting pretty large. And some of the other ones are coming up. For the most part, the ones that I did not pre-sprout have not come up. There are one or two here and there that are starting to pop up out of the ground, but I can definitely tell a big difference on how fast those ones that I did pre-sprout are taking off. I had planted a lot of dahlias. My initial plan was to have both of the front L's completely filled with dahlias, and the amount of tubers I had did not quite stretch all the way. I was on a dahlia selling Facebook page the other day, and I saw a lady who was selling some extra tubers she had, and it was a couple of the varieties that I've been wanting to try out. So I went ahead and ordered three new tubers that came in the mail. They were a good price. I think it was five or six dollars per tuber, which for dahlias, that's pretty good. The three varieties I have in here, let's see. There is a Sweet Natalia. The Bell of... If you could read my handwriting, the bell of Barmeria. And the other one was the Cafe Ulate was the other one. The Cafe Ulate actually arrived broken. The top part of the crown broke off. So I reached out to them and they are gonna send me a replacement on this. So that was very nice of them. Oh, you're showing them. <laughs> I have my little helper go show you the other tag. So I'm just gonna pop those three dahlia varieties in with the other ones. What do you see? I think someone found some strawberries. Yeah, that one's got some red on it, but we want it to be all the way red. Let's see if we can find any red ones, okay? Come on this way. The strawberries are just starting to come on. We've had a couple here the last few days. Here you go. Hinkle, you want this one? Most of these just have a tiny bit of white left on it, but there's hundreds of green ones. So we'll have a lot of strawberries here shortly. See all the green ones coming on? There's a couple that are starting to turn red. I had planted two rows kind of in the front of this bed of dahlias. So I'm just gonna start on a third row. I think I'm gonna leave a little extra room here on the end for maybe some zinnias or other dahlias. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> This is the sweet Natalia. You can see it's already starting to sprout here from the eye. I'm going to plant it horizontally with this sprout facing upwards. You can see the little tiny sprout starting to pop up on this one too. This one, the top part of the tuber where the little sprouts coming out had broken off from the body during shipment. I'm just still gonna put it into the ground as an experiment to see if it still grows a plant. Maybe that little nub has enough energy in it. I don't know, we'll see. Now that we are officially past our last frost date here, I wanna go ahead and direct sow a couple things as well. It's a beautiful day here. I mean, look at that sky. It's so pretty. I have some different flowers and a few veggies that I wanna pop into the ground. I'll see how much I can get done here before the kids wake up, and then I'm sure they'll be happy to help me finish up. I think I'm gonna start with some of my zinnia seeds. I have quite a few different varieties here. Uh, I have Oklahoma, golden yellow, salmon, and then a white variety and the queenie red lime, which is like pink and red and green all mixed together. I'm gonna pop a few of them here in this front bed next to the dahlias. And then I think I'm gonna do the same thing on the other L-shaped beds around the garden as well. I think I might start with the Oklahoma salmon. It has that salmony color 
in my last dahlia planting video, I showed you guys that I planted kind of the salmon-y, orange color dahlias here on these two ends of this entrance to the garden. So having the same kind of color palette going all together, I think will look nice. So I'm gonna do some of these first. Now that I planted that side, uh, I think I'm gonna do maybe a mirror image on this side. Problem is I didn't plan ahead. <laughs> I have broccoli and cabbages planted along the edge of this bed. Now those won't last all summer. They'll bolt in the heat of the summer. So when it comes time to ripping those out, maybe I will go ahead and plant the extra zinnias on that side later on then. There's a spot here, however, where one of the cabbages died or got eaten or something. So I do have a little blank space that I'll pop a couple zinnias into. That's all weeds. So I'll put some zinnias right there and then a couple right there too. Let me get these weeds out of here first. In the back, I have sowed some sunflowers that are already starting to pop up. The sunflowers that are on the back side of the garden are just sunflower seeds that I saved from last year. I think here in the front side, I am gonna do the pro cut sunflower varieties that are supposed to be pollenless. So I'm gonna do zinnias, cosmos, and sunflowers kind of all mixed in this bed and then that L-shaped bed over there across the way. First, there's a lot of weeds that I need to take care of. These flowers that I'm sowing today are specifically for cutting flowers. It's kind of my cut flower garden, if you will. I am gonna sow some more flowers over by the house as well but there's always that little bit of back and forth in my mind on whether or not I actually want to cut the flowers and bring them inside or leave them outside to enjoy. Because the kids and I are outside pretty much all day every day anyhow, so I want to enjoy the flowers outside as well as inside. So anyway, it's nice to have a designated spot that I'm planting these, knowing in my mind we're going to be cutting them and bringing them in the house. I'm going to start with the Pro Cut Sunflower varieties, which are the ones that are supposed to have no pollen or less pollen for cutting it and bringing it into the house. That way I don't have pollen all over my countertops or on the floor, which kind of bugged me last year. One is called White Knight, which is a white and black sunflower. And the other is Pro Cut Orange F1, which is just your traditional looking sunflower. I think I'm just gonna do every other all the way down on the front of this bed and then also mirror that just in that first little section of that bed as well. I'm excited to see all these flowers bloom this summer. So follow along if you want to see them bloom too. Thanks for watching. Bye y'all.